apparently not Golden's rule. It's apparently not Golden's rule. Yes, very good. <laughs> very good, Art. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so imagine this scenario. you got five guys, and one of them is up on the flight line in the main con- control center, and as part of the computer command load that's sent up that Friday night, there is a little instruction which basically says, oh, and by the way, you know, when you turn off the radio, if anybody calls you on this uh, extension, don't answer. Don't answer the phone. Mm-hmm. Only answer if this code is included. And that is logged in the backup computer. All right? So the spacecraft dutifully turns off the radio, goes through the sequence. Right. And then when the, the all the guys, most of NASA, frantically tries to get it to restore communications when it doesn't come back up in 15 minutes, it's quietly following its pre-instruction, which is don't listen to those guys. They no longer are in control. Listen for another signal, another computer code from a different antenna somewhere on the Earth. Right. And the fact that they never rebooted the backup computer is a very important piece of circumstantial evidence. Remember, we're now in the world of circumstantial evidence that, in fact, this weird scenario is is possibly not as weird as you might think. Well, when they when they rebooted the main computer, mm-hmm. did it did it come back up? No, properly? nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. And, uh, because if control had been shifted to the backup, right. well, of course nothing would happen. Okay, so then what reasoning did they give in the transcripts for not trying to reboot the backup? I mean, They that's... don't. It just but... falls between the cracks. Wow. 